Hello and welcome to Polywall online training. Today you will see a general overview of Polywall video wall management software. We will take a close look at software architecture, installation options, operator workstation and differences between the standard and professional versions. Polywall is a high-end software solution to control video walls, information displays for control rooms, conference halls and digital signage projects. With Polywall you can easily deploy a video wall and show any information you want on a big screen. Key software advantages are that Polywall is not locked on a specific hardware and works on a variety of controllers that run on Windows operating system. The software supports not only common sources such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint files, images and videos, but also IP cameras, web pages, as well as remote desktop via Polywall agent. Polywall is integrated with business intelligence and geographic information systems applications. Let's start with Polywall architecture. Polywall consists of four components, which interact with each other via local area network. First, we have a video wall. The video wall is plugged into the video wall controller with Polywall Visualizer component on board. Polywall Visualizer is responsible for information output on the video wall. Polywall Server is the main component of the system. Without it, all system's parts cannot interact and operate properly. Please note, you require license only for the server. Therefore, you can use as many other Polywall components as you need. Polywall Worker is responsible for accessibility of the data which you want to display on a video wall. For example, we have a computer used for storing some data such as video, images, Microsoft Office documents, etc. All we need to do is just install Polywall Worker on this computer. There is no additional setup required to make it work properly. All further configuring is performed in Polywall server settings. On the chart, we can see two personal computers. Polywall Agent allows to show not only the real-time desktops of these two machines on the video wall, but also manage those PCs. Just install Polywall Agent application on a Windows computer and share your screen. Thus, it is possible to display any type of information on the video wall using Polywall tools. We can also connect a variety of hardware sources to the visualizer and show them on the video wall. This is a common control room use case chart, whereas the video wall is the main part. It is connected to a controller with Polywall Visualizer and Polywall Server installed on it. Polywall Worker is running on the operator's computer, so the operator drops sources to the video wall directly from his machine. Conference and document cameras are used as hardware sources and are connected via a metric switcher. If we have an additional video wall or display for information output, then this display is connected to another machine with its own visualizer, which interacts with Polywall server. This use case is widely deployed in boardrooms and conference halls. Now we will talk about different types of installation and workplace management. Easy installation can be used in some simple projects, for example boardrooms and digital signage projects where all components are installed on a video wall controller. All you need is to go to Polywall website and download Polywall kit which contains server, visualizer and worker components. Run the kit and go through the installation steps. Select required language. Click next. Click Install, click Next, agree with license agreement, click Next, click Close, agree with license agreement, click Install, click Next, click Close. Agree with license agreement. Click Next. Now, 
in worker component installation step, make sure to leave encrypted connection checkbox empty and click install. Click close. After all the polywall components are installed, six shortcuts will appear on the desktop. Run polywall configuration wizard shortcut. Click next and see your hardware ID. Hardware ID is a letter and number sequence dynamically generated on each system. It depends on computer configuration. Send your hardware ID to polywall at visiology.su and get a license for activation. The license key is tied to the hardware ID. Therefore, it is useless on any other machine. After you get the key, paste it to the field and move to the next step. At this point, you can choose your video wall layout and create spacing for additional cube dividing. The first checkbox allows you to hide the video wall controller desktop, and the second one is for visualizer auto run at the system startup. Next step is choosing IP address, which must be in the same network with all polywall components. Finish the wizard, wait for the components to restart, and your system is ready to work. As for the video wall management, Polywall is controlled by a designer interface. In order to reach it, open Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. In the address bar, type HTTP, server IP address, then slash polywall, slash designer. Working area in designer consists of four sections. Live, Files, Preview, and Scenario. Preview and Scenario sections are used for working with scenarios. We will cover them later. Live section contains all your video walls. One video wall per one display, regardless of the screen's quantity. If there are more machines with visualizers, they will be shown in separate displays. Hence it follows that number of displays in live section is equal to the amount of visualizer components. In this case, we have only one display. Let's go on with Files section. It consists of two parts. On the right you can see the sources which can be dropped onto the video wall, and on the left there are repositories which store the sources on a local or remote machine. By default, there are four repositories. Repo is a folder on the machine with Polywall server. Typical path is Drive C Polywall Content. Schedule is a folder on the machine with Polywall server intended to store all your scenarios. Display 1 Inputs folder stores all active inputs from your hardware sources connected to Visualizer. Local Computer folder displays your local disks. If you open Designer on your laptop, you will see local disks on your laptop, not on the server machine. Remember to install worker component on your laptop. In order to put sources on the video wall, use drag and drop. Now have a look at live section in details. All the video walls or individual screens have unique names which can be defined in the server configurator and seen in live section. Display titles are located at the top of display frames. At the top right corner of the display frame, we can see the layout button that allows us to choose a layout for our video wall. Layout presets are varied and depend on the number of cubes which we have set in the server configurator. There are three types of layouts here, without resizing and with grid linking, with resizing and with grid linking, and the last one is manual adjustment. Near the Layout button, we can see a button with a cursor. It allows us to manage the content, for example, if we have a web page here, 
and press the button, we can control the page as we actually control it on our computer. All mouse clicks and key buttons for text fields are transferred inside the source. Also, during the management of polywall sources, you can notice a pen icon at the left upper corner. It allows you to draw over the sources. The following functions for drawing are available. Instrument selection, marker and eraser. Color selection, red, green and blue. Line thickness selection, erase the entire drawing. Cancel erase. This function is very useful when you want to draw someone's attention to a special detail on the video wall. In the left lower corner of the live section, there is a scale panel with the following functionality. Zoom in displayed units in the live section. Zoom them out and return them to the default size. With the help of Polywall, you can present the following sources images, video files, Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files, PDF files. In order to reach the source additional settings, press the settings button on the panel with the source name. Data source options depend on the data type. For PDF files, we can adjust the scale, see how many pages the document has. Here we can see the coordinates of the top left corner of the source displayed. If I place the source in the top left cell, our coordinates must be 0 and 0, just like you see in the example. And if we place it somewhere else, the coordinates will change because the top left pixel of the source was moved. And finally, width and height are also indicated in pixels. For images, we can set Keep Aspect Ratio and Crop the Image options. For other data sources settings, please see the table in Polywall Operator Manual. Polywall system provides control elements for each source type. Control elements are shown when sources for the video wall are selected in the designer. PDF or Microsoft Word Excel functionality. Document navigation can be performed in four directions with arrows. Scaling can be performed with plus and minus buttons. Shifting page up and down can be done with these buttons. Shifting to the first or the last page can be done with these buttons. Video functionality. We can shift to the end or the beginning, pause, stop, play, rewind to a desired place using the slider. Now let's see which types of sources we can manually create. To create a source, go to Repo section, press Create Source button and select the source type. Options are as follows. Stream Video, Web Page, VNC, Polywall Agent, Application and Playlist. The first choice is Stream Video. For instance, we have an IP camera. We type in the title and the URL in the path field and click Save. The camera icon appears in the Files section. Now we may show it on the video wall. The next source is a web page. To add a web page source, type a name and HTTP address. Enter login and password. Basic authorization is supported for web pages. You can use direct links for YouTube videos as well. Another source type is VNC. To add a VNC source, type a name. In the path field, enter IP address of your PC with VNC server in it. 
it may be a Linux station or Windows PC. Do not forget about password field. Tick the checkbox and type the password. The last source type is playlist. It helps us to play video files sequentially and is widely used in digital signage projects. We shall go on with scenarios. To open preview and scenarios sections, press the arrow near scenarios inscription. Each scenario consists of a number of scenes which are filled with content displayed on a video wall during a certain time period. Preview section is used for managing content within a selected scene, whereas scenario section is used for managing scenes. To create a scenario, press New Scenario icon. Press Yes for any unsaved changes to be lost. Select the first scene, which was created by default. It is a grey rectangle with a red border. A yellow shield with number 1 means that the scenario will start playing with this scene. You may give scene a name. The scene time duration is indicated in the bottom left corner. For example, you can set it up for 15 seconds. Filling the video wall within selected scene in preview section goes the same way as in live section. Choose desired layout and drag and drop sources. Sources in preview section have preliminary settings which are equal to source characteristics during playing and depend on the data format. For example, we have additional auto start option for video files. In PDF or Word, there is a start page option and PowerPoint has start slide. Let's create the second scene by clicking Create Scene icon and then clicking on Empty Space and Scenario section. And after that, set parameters for the scene. In order to link scenes, click Link Scenario icon and then click the first scene without releasing, move your mouse to the second scene. We can do it to another side and loop them for replay. If I create the third scene and link the first one with the third one, we will see that the arrow between these scenes is a grey dotted line. It means this link is alternative and scene 3 will never be played. If we want it to be played, Select the link to the third scene and press Set Default Link icon. With the help of Set First Scene button, we can choose any scene to be the starting one in the scenario. These icons allow us to copy, paste and delete scenes. We can maximize scenario area to work with complex scenarios by using the Lens icon to zoom in and zoom out. Before playing the scenario, save it to the schedule folder. The system will ask you if you want to save source copies in the scenario file. All scenario files are stored on the machine with Polywall server. In case when we put sources from a remote machine repo, it may be efficient to store all sources from scenario on one machine to avoid risks with remote connection. After we saved our scenario, we should go to the Schedule folder. Choose our scenario and click Start Showing Scenario button. When the scenario is played in the Live section, the information will be provided on the current scenario and scene being shown on the video wall. In order to stop showing, Press Close Scenario button. One trick about scenarios, if you have a video wall filled with content, for example 50 sources, and do not want to close all sources one by one, 
just play an empty scene. Polywall has an instrument for scheduling scenarios. To set scenarios to be played at a specific time, select Schedule folder and press Schedule button. Click Add and indicate the necessary time and scenario to be shown. For our installation, we will take the following use case. Two video walls 3x2 and three separate monitors. Each video wall and monitor has its own controller connected via display port. Polywall Visualizer and Polywall Worker are installed on each controller. Please note that all hardware sources are connected to the video wall controller, and without Polywall Worker, the sources will not function. Polywall Server is running on a separate machine and there is a number of hardware sources connected to a matrix controller via a matrix switcher. The demo room is equipped with the Crestron system, which is integrated with Polywall server using API and controls all hardware from light adjustment and screen's brightness to matrix controller outputs in the room. Managing all video walls and additional monitors requires a laptop. In order to share files directly from the laptop, it should have Polywall Worker installed. The complex installation case will be demonstrated on the demo room example. First of all, we need to install Polywall Server and Worker components on the server machine. Run Polywall Kit, uncheck the Visualizer box and go through installation process. After that, open Polywall Server Configurator and you will see Rooms Settings section. Here we can see rooms available for usage. We will use the default room conference hall. Change IP addresses in URL and repo URL fields. Next move to conference hall settings. We see the default display named Display1 and in order to add all connected video walls and separate monitors, we need to remove it. Then click Add Display, choose the video wall on the left side, and we set it with ID 1. ID is a critical parameter and it must be unique for each display. Then we type in the name and fill the resolution of the video wall. It will be 5760 by 1080. As for the other settings, we will leave designer position value at 10 by 10. It is top left corner coordinates of the display rectangle in the designer life section. Cubes will be 3 by 2 and we need no additional splitting. Then we shall add the second display. It will be the video wall in front with ID2. We shall type the name and set the resolution 5660 by 1080. Designer position will be 5850 by 10. I leave other fields unchanged. In order to add the first separate monitor, we shall add display with ID3. Type the name and set the resolution. Designer position will be 11,700 by 10 and cubes one by one. After that we will add the second separate monitor with ID4. Type the name and set the resolution. Designer position is 12,800 by 10, cubes one by one. And finally, we will add the third monitor, just like the previous ones. We shall now go through server settings. The first subregion section will be covered later. 
Controller input settings is used for establishing links between controller inputs and metric switcher outputs. Equipment controller is used for connection to controller responsible for matrix changeover. For example, it is Crestron controller. Matrix configuration is responsible for hardware sources connected to matrices. Next, we will move to repo section and add a folder with content for the video wall on a machine with worker installed. Click Add Repo, type the name and the URL. The URL consists of HTTP video wall controller IP address. Default port is 8081. After that, insert the path for the desired folder, for example, drive C, video wall, one, content. The next section is license, where you need to add your license key. You can see your hardware ID by trying to access the designer application. In import, export section, it is possible to save and restore server settings. We will cover security section later. Finally, server configuring is over. Now we need to configure each visualizer for each display or video wall. We will start with the first left video wall controller. Run Polywall Kit. Uncheck Polywall Server and install only visualizer and worker components. After that, open Visualizer Settings, type the Display ID 1 and Server URL. Make sure that Room ID is the same as in Server Configurator in Rooms section. Now we will cover other Visualizer settings. Clone mode will be explained later. We can show a height mouse cursor, taskbar, background, and disable drawing function. Screen capture is used to set up transfer of the display image to the designer. Hardware source plugin section is responsible for hardware sources settings in the designer. In video plugin section, we can set parameters for playing video files. Save settings and restart visualizer. Perform the same actions on controllers from video wall 2 and two monitors. The only difference will be in IDs, because they should be unique for each visualizer and correspond with display IDs in server settings. Last actions should be performed on the laptop. We shall install only worker on the laptop because we will share files from it. After that, we can run designer in browser and manage video walls. In live section, we have all screens added in the server configurator. The video wall on the left side, the central video wall, and the three separate monitors. At the bottom in files section, we can see folders with content from visualizers and other machines. All these repositories were added to Server Configurator. Let's put some images on the video walls. All content immediately appears on the video walls and separate screens in real time. We can change layout and put different content on the video wall. PDF file, video file, PowerPoint presentation and several active hardware sources like life-size terminal and document camera. It is also possible to move sources between video walls and screens. Choose layout without grid linking and with resizing. We can set the video in any position and everything works smoothly and fast. Polywall software is available in two versions, standard and professional. When running the wizard, you can activate either light or pro version using the appropriate standard or pro activation key. Now we will look into pro version enhancements. The first feature is the number of available sources. Pro version has application and agent sources. 
Application Source allows us to run any application stored in controller with visualizer on the video wall. We type application path here, for example Microsoft Paint that would be Drive C, Windows, System32, MSPaint.exe, and show selected app on the video wall. Polywall Agent Source allows to share computer screens. To get Polywall Agent, download Agent Installation Package from Polywall site. Go through installation and run the program. Right-click the red icon which has appeared in the tray and change view status. Allow all connections or ask permission. Choose display for sharing and set password if needed. At the designer, add a new source, choose agent, type the name and the IP address. Save and put it on the video wall. The second pro feature is event logging. To enable logging, go to server configurator in the rooms section and check the box. Logs will be seen in Polywall server root directory. Another pro enhancement is encrypted connection. To enable Polywall components interact via HTTPs, we need to delete Polywall worker first, then run worker installation again, and check encrypted connection. Then we go to server configurator, security section, and enable encrypted connection, HTTPs. After that we go to rooms section and change URLs for room and repo for HTTPs. Then we open visualizer settings. Change server URL for HTTPs. Uh, restart components. Then open designer via HTTPs in Mozilla. Add exception and check video wall operability. Finally, put some source on the video wall. Now you see that configuring is finished successfully. The fourth feature is role management and subregions. We can split the video wall to several parts and give access to each user to a certain part of the video wall. First, we should create a subregion for each display. Open Server Configurator. Go to Display Settings. Then click Add Subregion and set the title. Now we need to draw this subregion or rectangle using top left corner coordinates and two dimensions, width and height. Return to Designer. The given video wall has layout 2x2. And we have an employee who needs access only to the top right cube. This cube has top left coordinates 960 by 0 plus initial display position 10 by 10. And we get 970 by 10. We should type 970 in the left field and 10 in the top field. The whole display is 1080 pixels wide. So subregion width will be 960 and we type it in the width field. The same way we fill in the height field with uh, 540. The subregion title will be for Bob. Now we will move to security section. Set checkbox enable security, click add user, type login Bob and password 1. On the right side in the subregion area, click add access, choose the display and create subregion for Bob. After that, save settings and restart server. Now open the designer. It requests login and password. Type Bob for login and one for password. Finally, we are able to manage the top right cube in the designer.
Next feature is graphic server redundancy. We can connect two or more machines with visualizer components on board to one video wall. Information replicates on all machines and when the main active controller fails, system automatically switches to the second machine. To use this feature, go to visualizer settings of the main controller. Enable the clone mode and set clone ID to 1. It gives priority to the controller. In visualizer settings of the second controller, enable the clone mode as well and set clone ID to 2. Room ID, display ID and server URL must be the same for both controllers. After that we can open designer and in case of failure the server automatically switches to the second visualizer with the same content and the video wall or screen automatically changes active input. And we can continue working. The last feature is Active Directory integration. To integrate user management with the Active Directory, enable LDAP by ticking the checkbox. Please make sure that at least one account login should match Active Directory login. Set URL for connection to domain controller, that is AD server, for example, LDAP 192.168.15.22.389 port. Then type the username for connection to the AD server with the main. For example, organization2 slash Bob Brown, where organization2 is the domain and Bob Brown is username. The next field, type the password there. Then, the next field is for Active Directory element filtering parameters. Change company and domain. The last field is for search pattern to select username. We can leave it by default. After that, we can open designer and log in with any user from the Active Directory. In this training, we've observed polywall architecture, installation process, operator workstation and pro features. Thank you for watching this video and do not hesitate to contact us for more information.